Class one on these conditions. We all know what happened at the Nationals. Same could happen again this weekend. So as we look to the line, we have the Ian Fay Joinery Limited sponsored class three. We have a very competitive lineup here. We have Ian Fay, WS5, Adrian Joyce, WS22, Martin Beanie, IK316, Beat Robinson, North Wales 72, Ryan Power in ARC8, Paul Carpenter in C201E, Tim Street in SS70, and Lee Napier scraping in, in the winning of the um, runoff in WS82. And we're away. Who's going to get the break? All of that power onto the slippy stuff. It looks like it's the Wessex boys on the inside, and it is Ian Fay. And Ed Lloyd, oh, Ed Lloyd's probably got a little bit wide. Ian Fay's got on the greasy stuff. As the caravan rattles as his daughter screaming for her dad to get into the lead. But it is still Adrian Joyce that is there in the lead. It's your national champion in WS22 that takes it carefully around that bend. Looks like Ian Fay is making the move up the inside, but he has also gone wide. Martin Beanie loaded a little traction, a little bit of push on, but it is Ian Fay, that is your leader. So WS5 has taken the lead, getting a little bit sideways. Adrian Joyce back into second, Martin Beanie holds third. Ed Lloyd there in uh, CM85 in fourth, and then Paul Carpenter is in fifth. SS70 there, Tim Street managing to keep it going. Anthony Hutchins there in SS140, and also Lee Napier has given up and pulled into the middle. But we have, just go back to the front, it is... Ian Fay, that's gingerly taking it around, taking his time. Ed Lloyd up into third as Martin Beanie goes a bit wide, gets a bit slippy, but it is WS5. Ed Lloyd looks like really past us here in CM5. Is he going to take second place? That's where the race is at the moment. So it's uh, still Adrian Joyce has got the tight line. This allows Ian Fay to move even further in front, uh, ahead. As Ed Lloyd goes down that back straight, can he mount a challenge back on Adrian Joyce? That's where the race is. As the, uh, Battle for the minor places heats up towards the back as those four groups go. Ed Lloyd, Ed Joyce has gone a little bit wide, so Ed Lloyd sounds like he's uh, may have a hole in exhaust, but he uh, keeps going, keeps pointing that uh, historic motor in the right direction. But it's Ian Fay still down the back straight. Martin Beanie's uh, back into fourth. Paul Carpenter there in fifth. Tim Street sixth, and uh, Anthony Hutchins struggling a little bit with these conditions in SS140, but S. WS5 is being closed down by Ed Lloyd in CM85. Pulls away on the straight as he gets the wheels in a straight line. So it's still Ian Fay, that is your race leader. Lee Napier there, just takes this opportunity to pull off the track in a very safe way. Adrian Joyce struggling to find grip in third place. Mike Beanie in fourth now is Anthony Hutchins though, going to hinder the opportunity for Ian Fay as they come out of that corner. I think Ian's just hit him at just at the right time. As they go into straight line, Ed Lloyd trying to find the grip. Wide. And he, oh, and there's going to be Anthony Hutchins there, really causing some problems there for the front two, but Ian Fay's just got to find a way past him, be patient, take his time. That's where the race is. Ed Lloyd. Ed Lloyd's going, looking for the gap up the inside. Ian Fay shuts the door. Ed Lloyd bouncing over the tyres. Ed Lloyd gone away into the lead. And it's Ed Lloyd that takes the win. Ian Fay second. Adrian Joyce has thrown it away on the last corner. Is Martin Beanie going to salvage third place for his weekend? I think he is, so Martin Beanie takes third. National champion Adrian Joyce in fourth. Tim Street just spins out of the last corner. Next over the line is Paul Carpenter. Is Tim going to finish? Tim Street then coming over the line to finish. So we need the uh, top three. Okay then, so your Ian Fay Joinery Limited trophy presentation. Class three. And CM85 is your winner. It is uh, Ed Lloyd in second place. Your class sponsor, WS5, Ian Fay. And in third place, down from my uh, region, IK316, Martin Beanie. So show your appreciation again for your class three winners there, your trophy winners. Had a very entertaining final in these uh, very tricky conditions. I'll now hand over to Steve, who will take you through class five final.
There we go, that's it. Uh, draw your breath, Gareth. Cracking stuff then from Class 3s. Tell you what, you get Ed Lloyd in Class 3 final, it never fails to be entertaining, it really doesn't. But excellent stuff. Class 5s. Start line, but I think they're being brought under starters' orders, so four cars start the West of England men's champion of champions. There we go, uh, Lee Carr is uh, WS uh, 20. Uh, 27, that's John Napier. That car's warmed up, I think, for that. Grace, give it a fair pasting. In uh, Westburn in that trophy, Kenny Wing another one. Nicky Williams on that top one. Now, Nicky's, uh, my bet, probably is the quickest. That little four is going to bite in quite nicely. I think the six will probably struggle a bit. Push on, but that special's chomping, Steve. Yeah, it is indeed, but he's certainly got plenty to do. And as you quite rightly said, then uh, John Napier in the 27 car, finding plenty of momentum around this circuit. I think just taking a visual gauge on it, then Nicky Williams in Mountain 60 is clawing him in, but he's clawing him in quite slowly. Uh, the, the six not making too much impression, and uh, Matt Cleveley. So I'm going to go for either the four or the six to actually be better. Uh, there you go. Well, I still haven't rolled off the two yet, but. Uh, I think Nicky is actually catching him. The uh, the Trent 47, yes, but it is pushing a bit. Special, I don't think it's gaining at all, Steve, actually. I don't think it is too much, and I have to say, looking at them down the far side, then WS27, John Napier just about kept the same advantage over Nicky Williams in about 60. So Nicky just going past that Marshall's post as John goes one at the bottom. So, uh, yeah, he's holding up like a good one at the moment. Yeah, around that corner, uh, John Napier. He's got it all under control, I think. He's not overdoing it. Nicky, well, Nicky's trying, look, he could absolutely flat out. But there isn't a lot of difference in speed between these two cars. I'm just watching. I hate to say this, I think John's catching the special. I, th I think you're right, to be fair, and I have to say that Nicky Williams is now not making any impression on John Napier in WS27. They're spread still very equidistant around the raceway, so I might revise my forecast a little bit, I think. I'm on your side now. Yeah, it's no good jumping ship at this time, Steve. But uh, here it is, WS27. Actually, uh, he is catching the special, I do believe. But uh, no, Nicky's made a few feet on it then, but his feet. But uh, the Class 6 is just beginning. Class 6, they're all holding the station, I think, at the present time. So uh, perhaps they flipped a coin uh, in the pits, Steve. I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, certainly not gaining quick enough on this uh, race leader as uh, Mountain 60 uh, throws it into that top bend. But uh, WS27 going uh, down the far side. Move. He, he will have him in his sights now, which psychologically, I think, might just help Nicky Williams. Yeah, I think it will. Um, if John can see him in his ball as well, he might start to push a bit harder. Perhaps to just slide it just a little bit off it, but he is gaining, ever so slightly. But the special is gaining, I find that quite surprising. I think the special is driving, overdriving the car, to be honest. I think he's doing that, but uh, now Nicky can really see him. Last lap flag. I'll take his round it, Steve. Yeah, I think uh, he's just got too much to do on the uh, final circuit, so it's going to be... Uh, close at the end of it but I think it's going to be John Napier that's going to take this one as he goes into that bottom bend for the final time a real valiant effort from Nicky Williams in Mountain 60 but he needed a two or three more laps John Napier takes the trade frames west of England men's champion of champions well done a super drive and well predicted Mr Fay in WS at 27 well done indeed to Mountain 60 and also to the Trent 47 and uh, Matt Cleveley in Breen Hill 108 gave it a valiant effort in the uh, class eight, but uh, this circuit just a little bit too much for it. And it's John Napier that's going to uh, come round and uh, receive back the trophy that uh, presumably handed in again for uh, this weekend. So his name is going to be re engraved on it. So just uh, sorting out the uh, silverware uh, trophies to be presented, one for the meeting and one the perpetual uh, West of England champion of champions. So as uh, John receives those two trophies, a big, big congratulations uh, to him in the WS27 car. Cracking drive from the uh, Class 2.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, does bring to an end the weekend's proceedings here at the Southern League on behalf of everybody associated with the meeting. Sincerely hope that you...